A North Dakota teen is coming home alive after falling into the Grand Canyon. Wyatt Kaufman fell nearly 100 feet at the National Park. WDAY News reporter Nick Rod Broadway joins us live tonight with how that lucky teenager is doing tonight. Nick. Dana, Kirsten, nine broken vertebrae, a concussion, a ruptured spleen, a collapsed lung, one broken hand, and a dislocated finger. This is what the road to recovery looks like for Wyatt after finishing the road trip back home. I almost died. I was like inches away from death. With hopes of creating fond memories, the 13-year-old and his mom traveled to the Grand Canyon early last week. Wyatt walked on to Bright Angel Point, a smaller, more narrow platform. You could see the entire canyon. It is beautiful up there. He was trying to stay out of the way of others when he slipped. He doesn't remember what happened after falling. Once they were getting up and they were done with the picture and I kind of stood up, I lost my grip and that's when I started to fall back. I cannot remember anything past that point. Nearly 40 rescue crews working for two hours to lift up Wyatt in a bucket. They had to rappel down since conditions were too windy for helicopters. Wyatt does recall waking up while being flown to a hospital in Vegas. Though his injuries are pretty severe, his family is keeping a sense of humor. You can see them holding up a shirt saying, I survived Grand Canyon National Park. And the one he's wearing today, I do my own stunts. Wyatt and his family are on the drive back to North Dakota tonight. They expect to make it home later on this week. Reporting live, Nick Broadway, WDAY News.